forces have invaded the Republic of Altus. Our mission is to deploy with helicopters in the proximities of Pagagiawawa. Wait for attack helicopters to destroy any heavy vehicles, then assault and seize the village. No trouble saying that. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Para, and this is another Arma 3 video. And I have actually played this mission before, but I'm going to be redoing it with JSRS Dragonfire, which is the new sound mod. And you can find a video review <coughs> and my thoughts and just a few different samples on my channel and also on Armaholic as well. So let's get in the bird and let's get going. If you haven't played this mission before, it's part of the RHSS Escalation Pack, which gives you the United States Marine Corps and the Russian Federation units. And again, you can find videos and details of those on Amaholic if you want to download them. So here we go. We're just going to jump off the bird. And as we jump off, I'm going to try and get a nice view of the helo as it takes off. You can actually hear the skid pads crashing there. That's probably part of the new Dragonfire sound pack. This is actually quite a short mission, it's only about the 10 minutes long. It's just an introduction really to the new models and the weapons. I think I'm holding an M4 in my hands. So we're just going to work our way up to the top of this ridge line. I kind of fell out of love with armor for a little bit. I just got a little bit too much. As many of you know, I was in 3 Commando GU. And um, yeah, I think once you start to get fed up with training all the time, it's, it's time to give it a little bit of a rest. So we're just going to wait for this attack on the village before we move further down. I'd be interested to know if anybody else gets that glitch with the Blast Core visuals. It's sort of like... Um, almost like a, the mask or the black pixelated image sometimes when there's a lot of traces going off it's quite annoying uh, I don't actually know how to fix it so it looks like the team are moving down on the right hand side but I'm just gonna have a little scout down here and see what we can see no point in rushing this it's only 10 minutes and we've only got one life so we can see there's a couple of op four down there let's have a quick look at the map I'm actually playing this on elite difficulty so a lot of the markers are not going to be actually on the map and enemies are not going to show up either although I wish I, I wish I knew how to get rid of the icons around my teammates I just don't want to see it, it just kills the immersion for me so right I'm going to move down this left hand side and see if I can get some cover somewhere that if we do open fire I have actually got somewhere to pull either pull back to there's a slight slight height in this ridge line maybe I can find some uh, rocks or something down here and I'll move down to this bush and uh, have a quick little bit of an intel okay so it seems that the AI of um, my teammates have opened fire we're obviously taking contact down here somewhere. There's a couple of guys down here. Might be a little bit far out. Now, I'm not sure whether that's wind trajectory at this point, but it looks like my rounds are actually hitting slightly sub-left of the uh, of my sight line here. 
hopefully I'm in cover far enough back that they're not going to uh, see me and they'll probably concentrate more on the teammates to the right, hopefully. So let's just see if we can pop a couple of fucking turban heads. two or three down there because it sounds cool and we might be able to clear that little area that's just down here in front of us really like some of the nice beefy explosions you get on the new uh, Dragonfire sound mod pack uh, if you haven't tried one before, definitely worth worth it. My current favourite for vehicles is actually Speed of Sound, but um, JSRS, while not completely authentic, does add a real beefy sound to a lot of the combat that you just won't get with vanilla. So it looks like most of the action uh, and the contacts are over to my left. So I'm going to push down uh, to this right. Whoa! Holy shit! Get down, get down, get down! That is some seriously loud sonic cracks. Now here, I actually want you to press the smoke button with the shift and the grenade button. But for some reason I only had grenades and it wouldn't let me change. Makes me look like a fucking noob. So I think we'll get another two or three round down here in a minute. Have a look. Just got to be careful I don't hit our teammates who are trying to move down there. I think there's a contact down here in this centre bit here. I'll tell you something, those sonic cracks at full volume are terrifying. My ears are bleeding. Fucking hell, I'm not joking. stage I need to be careful with two or three rounds because it looks like there's friendlies down there that would actually be a quite a good spot top of that ledge up there those sonic cracks are incredible honestly you do this with your headphones on Jesus Christ that is close if you hear the bullets whiz you're all right if you hear the crack you need to get down immediately right, I'm just gonna push up to these guys and see what's happening down here might actually push myself up to this wall on the right. Okay, 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 okay. Contacts, contacts. It's time for me to get my head down. That sounds extremely close. Fucking hell, that's loud. actually got contacts over here somewhere but because I've been running I'm actually out of breath so I'm gonna be difficult to hit a band door at this point. Not friendly to the left just stood out in the open. He's gonna get killed if you don't get back here quickly. It's fine enough for two or three so there's something down there. It did look like somebody ran up at this hedge line so I need to watch our six told you we're an idiot. Get you something to cover, mate. Oh, you got your head splattered like a fucking cabbage. I 
And that's that then, guys. This was just a really quick little mission and uh, just a little look at a mission with Dragonfire and a little introduction to GA, uh, the RSH Escalation Pack. Thanks for watching. More Arma 3 videos potentially coming soon. I may join a GU again at some point. So there will be some more Arma videos. Thanks for watching and the support you've given me so far. I've been Para, and this has just been a quick game of Arma 3. See you on the battlefield.